Japanese Central could be the first town center to be retrofitted with a district cooling system. A feasibility study by Tomasic and SP Group shows that this would cut carbon emissions by 18%. That's equal to removing 2,250 cars from the roads a year. Phase one of the project is targeted to be completed in 20 months. Let's go with more. Imagine giant air conditioners that can cool an entire district rather than just individual buildings. A study looked at implementing such a solution at 14 buildings in Tampani Central, including malls, offices and community spaces. The district cooling system will tap on existing chiller plants at Tampani's One, Century Square and our Tampani's Hub. This will inject cool water through a network of pipes to other buildings to provide air conditioning in the area. We know that typically in a building, uh, you know, we have excess cooling capacity and this, this project basically essentially utilizes this excess capacity uh, and uh, to operate on a larger scale so to create some efficiencies. On top of reduced carbon emissions, it could lower energy consumption by 17% and help save 4.3 million Sing dollars a year. Owners of seven buildings signed off on their interest in subscribing to the solution, making up phase one of the project. This is the first time a district cooling system will be installed at what's called a brownfield or existing urban setting in Singapore. A big part of this will have to be done um, without having, without trying to cause any inconveniences and interruption to the building owners. So putting the pipes and all that will be done laid at the common areas. Eventually we'll need to move the pipes and interconnect it to the existing chiller plants. It's very difficult to introduce solutions into a mature and established developments like Tampani Central, even if there are new technologies. In fact, this issue is not unique to Tampani because brownfield developments represent 80% to 90% of developments in Singapore. If we succeed in Tampines, it becomes a blueprint at the national level. Tamasic says it hopes findings from the pilot could even be used to replicate the system in other cities.